I grew up in the local church, and early on in my ministry, I, I did youth work. And I was always excited to see uh, students who would come and they'd be loved on and included. They would hear God's claims for their life, and they didn't know any better other than just to tell the truth and respond. And it was always just crazy exciting. But I would look around the rest of our church, and I would see sweet, good people, but I, I didn't hear from adults very often that there was this thing going on in their life where they could actually tell the truth. They could be honest. I didn't see consistently see leaders that were being honest about their own struggles. And so it, it felt like at the time, this was a young person's game, but it really wasn't an adult game. I never heard about conflict being resolved between adults or marriages being restored on a routine basis. I went to Willow Creek Community Church not long after that, and I'm sitting on the front row of this conference that Bill Hybels, the pastor, is speaking at. And Hybel says, with great enthusiasm, the church is the hope of the world. And I thought to myself, what church are you talking about? Because I hadn't seen it. And uh, as he spoke, it was, uh, it was with conviction, it was with clarity, and uh, he was crazy enough to attach it to Scripture. And I, I heard from God's Word again what I'd forgotten, that it, it wasn't an aspirational thing. It was, it was real, and it was new, and it was God's work. And I sat on the front row of the church that day, and I wept because I wanted to be a part of that. I didn't want to be a part of attendance gathering or church growth. I wanted to be a part of life transformation. And that's what I, God had put in my heart from the very, very beginning. And I knew that not only did, did I have, but as a leader, did I have a responsibility to find that somehow. But I also knew somehow it had to do with, dude, I really believe that God could do that. Not long after that, I was invited to be a part of the leadership team at Watermark. I saw for the first time in a consistent basis. Not only sweet people and people trying to love God, but people who would take the scripture and take their vision and values from scripture and not just make them aspirational. They would be the actual values that they would be shaped by. And so because of that, I've seen the marriages uh, restored. I've seen my own ability to confess sin and be honest with God and with my friends. I've let down my guard so I can be a part of the flock as well as a shepherd. And uh, I'm here to tell you that the church is the hope of the world.